What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. You guys know what today is and if you don't know what today is be sure to smash that subscribe button and also press the little bell right next to it. What it's going to do is going to send you a post notification every time I upload. But guys, don't even skip through this video. You guys need to watch this all the way through every single thing I want to say. First thing I would like to say is I am actually sick but I'm punching this out for you guys because I I know you guys want to see it so bad. It's, I, I'm, I was excited for this video. I'm excited just to make a post truck because it's looking very sweet. The second thing I would like to say is this truck is not fully finished. So be sure to stay tuned for the other episodes over the truck where I'm going to fully deck it out, wrap it, that whole deal. So be sure to turn on post notifications. And lastly, I would like to thank my sponsor, John, with All South, All South Sprinkler Company, All South Auto Sports. He helped me a lot out on this truck. He helped me with getting the truck in general. And uh, just an amazing sponsor, really helps me a lot. And I would like to thank him. And thank you guys so much for the support over the past years because I would not be here without you guys. I would not have this truck without you guys. But let's go ahead and get this video started. Cars getting hella bands, uh. I got a bar from the motherland, uh. I got shooters wearing telebands, uh. I get it, get it, uh. Anyway, uh. Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh. I crack cars, cook every day, uh. I get money, uh. Every day, uh. That is the truck, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so I'm so pumped and excited about this thing, guys. It is coming together so well. I'm gonna give a full-on tour, but this is just a blessing, guys. This is an awesome truck. It's an amazing truck, and so thankful to have this thing. So thankful to have you guys as sponsors. It's just awesome. To start off with everything, I'm just so excited that I got to switch over to a diesel, especially with my traveling. It's going to be a lot, a lot better. The gas mileage is amazing. In the past week, I actually already put 1,500 miles on this thing just because I've been traveling a lot. And it's just gonna make it so much easier. The first thing that I'm actually gonna start off with is the bumper right here, which is actually by Fab 4. It's actually called the Grumper. It's a new bumper that they came out with. It's different than the last one I had. This thing is such a beast right here. I love this bumper. Right here, I'm actually gonna end up putting a winch right there. As you could tell, I got two pods on each side, which are by Rigid Industries. They go right here in the front. Like I said, I do not have everything on this thing quite yet. Like it's not fully finished. It's nowhere near to be fully finished yet. But I actually do have some A-Series Rigid Industry lights that are actually green like I had on my Tundra that I am gonna put inside the grill so it's gonna be glowing outside of that, which is gonna be sweet. And also right inside the fender wells right here, which are gonna have some A-Series lights as well, as well as underneath the truck. Moving on to the back is actually where I got the engine series. It's the back bumper by Fab Four. And I'm actually gonna have two pods on each side right here. I'm gonna have four pods total, two right there, and also two right here, right in the back. This is actually the same bumper I've had on my last Tundra. This is the Vengeance Series. I had the Vengeance Series on the front and back of my Tundra. But right here I have the Vengeance on the back and the Grumper on the front. One other thing about right here in the back, as you can tell, Got this Linex. Um, big shout out to All South for that. Linex the whole back. Thank God because I did that in my last truck. It's 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 a world of a difference. You, I would never get a truck and just not not line exit after after all that. That is actually it for the sponsor parts that are on there as of now. I just have four pods on there: the front bumper, rear bumper. But what's going to be going on is pretty much the truck vault is going to be going in the back, obviously. ARE cap's going to go on. And also all the rigid industry lights, like I have a 54 inch that's going to be going on there. I have the four pods in the back. I have the A-series lights. That's all going to be on there as well. And I'm not going to have a roof rack this time on here. Like I, on the Tundra, I had a roof rack. I had the rod pods. I don't know if I'm going to be putting on the rod pods quite yet, but I'm not going to be putting on a roof rack um, this, this round. The final thing that's actually going to be done to the truck is the wrap. And it, it's going to be a new design, guys. It's not going to be a same one as I have now. Pretty much one that I have now is like, I'm going to make this bright and as crazy as it is just to get as much attention as possible to show people looking at it because it's obviously a wrap. It's an advertising. This is a, my truck was literally a billboard. Um, this one's going to be a lot more cleaner. I want to make it clean. This truck looks so good how it is. I wish I could keep it how it is, but sadly I can't. I wouldn't even have this truck if it wasn't for my sponsors. So I have to rep them on the wrap and put that thing on, but it's going to look sweet. I'm actually going to design it on um, this time. So I'm going to be working on that in the next couple of weeks and that's going to be sweet. Let's go ahead and check out what I spent 
spent uh, my money on a couple of weeks ago. I, I dropped some bucks on this thing, guys, but I wanted it to be right. I wanted it to be done right, and I wanted to get what I wanted since I'm going to be using this truck for a while. The biggest question that I already know is going to be asked is pretty much what wheels and tires did I go with and what lift did I go with? So that's what I'm going to be talking about right now. I actually just bought that last week. Spent some bucks on this stuff, guys, but... Like I said in the previous clip, I'm gonna have this truck for a while. I wanna buy the best that I can. I mean, I wanna get the best of the best. I'm already gonna spend a good bit of money on this thing. I might as well just, you know, go all out on it and uh, finish it off right. So for my tires, as you guys know, on my last truck, I actually had the Trail Grafflers by Nitto. And this time I actually got the Ridge Grafflers by Nitto. And these things are freaking sick, guys. This is a hybrid. It's pretty much like the Trail Graffler in an open country mix. So pretty much you got that mean look still. It's not as bulky as that Trail Graffler, but you still got that mean look. And it's also gonna be quiet. And they're not gonna wear down as much. It's just gonna be overall a better tire. I looked up a bunch of reviews on it and they were just all just amazing i talked to a bunch of people about them and they all suggested them and for what i've experienced so far these tires are freaking sweet guys not loud at all and uh overall they're perfect these are actually 37s by 1350s going on to the rims which this time i went with fuels i, I wanted to get away from the rock stars i didn't want those anymore these fuels i just wanted something very very clean i wanted something black since i'm going to be wrapping it and just a slight bit of chrome so that's what i did these are actually the fuel mavericks and they're actually gloss as you guys can tell right there and these have a negative 44 offset and these are 22 inch rims by 12 but i am so happy that i went with these instead of the trail grafflers again i mean just it doesn't make any sense i mean those were wearing down so much the trail grafflers i was literally just cooking through them um they were loud that whole deal they weren't horrible tires i mean they weren't um i loved how they looked they looked awesome they looked bulky they looked beefy um but the ridge grafflers I mean down I mean I've only had it for a week but I can tell you if I want to buy any more it's definitely gonna be these now this is actually the very interesting part that I know you guys are gonna love wondering what lift I have and uh, I actually got Fox shocks the BDS suspension I went all out on this guy I spent a lot of money on that but it's so worth it. this thing drives so good let me show you the back right here as you guys can tell I got a six and a half inch lift um, it's probably hard for you guys to see but I got a five inch block right there so pretty much the reason I got a five inch block is because I'm gonna be putting the truck vault in the back here and I'm also gonna have the ARE cap on and I will have my boat. So I'm trying to level the truck out a bit because on my last truck, I actually had airbags and um, I just went simple this time with a five inch block. That's a good, good look at it right there. Now I'm obviously gonna to wanna to show you guys the inside. Let's hop right up in here see what I got going. So pretty much guys, this is the base model truck. This is actually a work truck. I'll pop up some pictures on the screen. It is crazy the transformation of this. This is just unreal. Um, as you guys can tell, there's no carpet, but I actually love that fact. Like I, I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. I'd be like, oh, maybe I'm gonna end up buying carpet, putting carpet in here. But honestly, this is awesome. I had it a little bit dirty. I had some sand in here. Um, I didn't even clean it. I didn't spend much time to clean it. I just got some uh, paper towels or rags. I got some cleaner, sprayed it on there, and literally just wiped it down. And simple as that. I'm still gonna get some floor mats to go right here. Um, but rather than that, I love this. I really love this. It's good for what I'm doing, especially since I'm traveling all the time. Right here with the radio. This is gonna go bye bye, guys. I'm not gonna keep this here. But I'm gonna end up putting a new one in here. I'm gonna take out the stock radio. I'm gonna be putting my amps for my other truck in and my subs in here. I actually blew one of my subs in my other truck, so I'm gonna have to go purchase another one of those. Pretty much just have to order a box. And then I'll fit it under this back seat right here. I'm gonna have to do that in the next couple of days and then order that sub and I can get that all handled out. I was gonna buy like everything, like pretty much the amps, um, new subs. I was gonna have to buy a new box. I was gonna do the whole deal, but honestly, I'm not. I'm just gonna keep what I have now, which I have two tin Rockford Foss gates, which are gonna be going in the back. I'm gonna have to order the box, put the amps in, and obviously put the, take out the stock radio and uh, get that out of here. And also, I got this bad boy right here where I can actually just put my phone up here, which is perfect for when I travel. This is perfect. Moving on to the back seat. As you guys can tell, I got nothing in here right now rather than just some cleaner right there. Got this gray interior, light gray. Underneath, this is where the sub box is actually gonna go right here. As you guys can tell, like I said, no carpet. Pretty simple back here. It's got a lot of room, really. It's got it's got a ton of room. It's got a little bit more room than my Tundra, um, especially in the front as well. But overall, this truck is a lot bigger than my Tundra, guys. I, I didn't expect it to be this much bigger. Like, when I was doing the whole deal, I was like, all right, I'm putting a six and a half inch lift on on 37 i already knew i was doing that my tundra has a six inch lift which is a rough country on 37s so i didn't think it was going to be that much bigger but guys this thing is a monster i'm serious this thing is huge i know you guys probably can't tell but 
it's it's a pretty big truck i wasn't going to make this thing bigger like i wasn't trying on purpose to make this thing bigger but it's, it's pretty big and when i get back into atlanta which is going to be in a few days i can actually do a comparison between this truck and my truck so if you guys want that video be sure to smash this like button subscribe and hit the little bell as always but if you guys want to see that be sure to do so but i'm so glad I switched over to a chevy got me a diesel so thankful for my sponsors fab four rigid which is on here right now john all south freaking stellar amazing people really support me just like you guys do couldn't thank you guys enough another thing i would like to say is pretty much right here as you can tell it's black looks good and all right here it's not that's gonna have to be done that is going to have to be done this thing is not clean guys if you guys are wondering why i mean the inside's fine but the outside's not clean because it's gonna be raining in a few hours and the rest of the day and the rest of the week so i was like i'm not even gonna spend time to wash it right now plus i really needed to finish this video so i was like if i take a few hours to wash this thing it's gonna be raining by that time so i had to get this thing done and this is actually where they went in and trimmed right here as you guys can tell and right here trim that all the way down and also as you guys can tell right here this is gonna hit slightly this hits slightly right here and um so we're gonna have to trim this down just a tad bit so it won't be scrubbing at all but rather than that it really doesn't scrub but right there that's that's where it's all trimmed so i made up my mind we are gonna do a truck comparison over my old tundra and the diesel we're gonna be doing that so that's gonna be coming up very soon so you know what that means be sure to click on those post notifications so it notifies you at every single upload be sure to like this video guys thank you guys so much for the support like i said i would not be here without you guys i seriously wouldn't have this truck without you guys because i want to be doing what i'm doing now and um, with the sponsors like with fab four and uh, rigid industries truck vault are all of them like i seriously want to have them without you guys and i just cannot thank you guys enough so thank you so much it really means the world i love you guys so much and I'll catch you all in the next episode on Tuesday. And it's fire, by the way, so you better, you better stay tuned. I got sky like the weatherman, uh. I cry cars getting hella bears, uh. I got a bra from the motherland, uh. I got shooters with hands, uh. I get it, get it, uh. Anyway, uh. Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh. I crack cars cook every day, uh. I get money, uh. Every day, uh.